Cup of tea's made if you want one. I'll be there in a minute. When Lindsay Anderson married Joyce 47 years ago, oh he was saying I do to the love of his life and to a future full of surprising housemates. Yeah. Righto, hop down there. How do you feel about sharing the bathroom with a magpie? <laughs> oh, I don't mind. <laughs> They're not hard to clean up after. Uh, spoke so too soon, Lindsay. Yeah. Oh, he's so, just oh, done it on the floor. He just pooped on yeah, your on back, I think, Lindsay. On your shoulder. <laughs> yes, 74-year-old Lindsay and his animal-loving wife share their bathroom and kitchen, in fact, their whole house, with magpie. Want to say hello to Rusty? Magpie is just one of hundreds of animals over the years that have made their way into the Andersons' hearts and home. He was actually reared in the house. So he sort of owns the house. Comes in whenever he feels like it. Righto, come on. Ben, no fighting. Now the posse of rescued magpies are just the tip of this couple's open farm policy. They've lost count of the numbers, but the menagerie includes horses, ducks, cats, dogs, chickens and cattle. Are there any animals you wouldn't foster no. or care for? Well, I don't know about a snake. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have a donkey or a goat or he won't stay. Why is that? I don't like them. You've got no. enough animals without them. Come on. Aren't you come? Meet the newest addition to Joyce's brood. This little chick hatched just this morning after two days hard pecking through his shell. You did so well, little guy. Welcome to the world. <laughs> Joyce loves the unusual and breeds a large number of rare chooks, including the frizzle with its strange feathers. It's like See? he's had an electric shock. Yeah. Times are tough on their 400 hectare property, just outside Sale in Victoria's Gippsland region. Joyce and Lindsay work incredibly hard, hand feeding all those hungry mouths. The drought has meant some heartbreaking changes. Well, we've had to sell 59 horses and pay half the stud because of it. All our young cattle are gone. We didn't sell them for big money. It was my, mainly to get them home. We just couldn't keep feeding them. This is a proud family, and young Scott and Claire have their grandmother's passion for animals. Wow, she's pretty cool. And animals are so cool. I love them so much. What would you like to do in the future? You know, take over the horse farm. Lindsay, when you look at Joyce after 47 years of marriage, what do you see? <laughs> That's good. Still the same person underneath. <laughs> and what do you think when you look at him, Joyce? Oh, I would be devastated without him. And how long do you think you'll stay on the farm for? As long as we can. Forever. And all Joyce's animals say a very heartfelt Amen. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.